Sensei is an integrated project of the EU's seventh framework program, part of the Information Society Technologies thematic priority of Challenge 1, pervasive and trusted network and service infrastructures, the network of the future. The Sensei project lasted from the beginning of 2008 to the end of 2010, with 19 partners from 11 European countries participating in the project. Sensei created an open, business-driven architecture that fundamentally addresses the scalability problems for a large number of globally distributed wireless sensor and actuator devices. The Sensei Telesport Collar can easily be mounted on livestock animals. Inside the Sensei Telesport Collar, we can see the layout of the antennas and SIM card on top of the printed circuit board. In the Sensei field trial, we are using USSD-enabled SIM cards. One feature of USSD is that it is mandatory for all GSM operators to forward the USSD traffic to the home network. The effect is that data from the animals is automatically forwarded to the home network regardless of which network the collar is connected to. The main hardware components of the Sensei Telesport collar is the GPS shown in red, the GSM modem shown in yellow, and the microcontroller underneath the GSM modem shown in blue. The detailed operation of the collar is to wake up at regular intervals, acquire the GPS position, and transmit the position over the GSM network. The sensor data is transmitted in the form of a Sensei-initiated IETF standardized CoAP protocol message over 6LOPAN and USSD. Acknowledgement and retransmission mechanisms are also provided. The co-op message containing the collar position is transferred over the GSM network using 6 pan over USSD to the Telenor Hungary USSD controller, which in turn pushes the message to the Sensei USSDC proxy software over a secure connection. Every time the Sensei USSDC proxy recognizes a new device, the device resource is appropriately registered with the Sensei resource directory. When a resource is registered, the Sensei discovery mechanism can be used by resource users to find devices and later request data from them using the Sensei resource access interface. The Sensei USSDC proxy forwards all co-op messages to the Sensei node nano service proxy. The nano service proxy acts as a resource access interface proxy over either IPv4 or IPv6 for all registered devices and for all resource users in the livestock supply chain monitoring field trial. The HTTP proxy serves as a front end to the already existing Telespore legacy system, including the COS UDP Edge and the Telespore end user application.
The Telespore Sensei Business Role Reference Model shows in the green area the roles handled by Telespore today. Usage of Sensei technology enables Telespore to open up and use generic third-party modules as part of their business model. The application developer and service provider roles, as well as the system deployer role, may in the future partly be handled by a managed platform partner, and not entirely by Telespore alone. Likewise, both the wireless sensor and actuator network operator and service provider role may be facilitated by a future managed connection partner. Sensei technology allows Telespore to be part of a larger ecosystem where Internet of Things data can be willingly exchanged between business partners. Obvious examples are predator tracking and interaction with public authorities to acquire regulatory data. Sensei technology also opens up new opportunities for third-party development of new value-added services on top of information from Telespore and other providers. One obvious new role that emerges is therefore sensor and actuator service brokering. The Telespore traditional vertical service provisioning has thus changed to be part of a horizontalized ecosystem.